Oh, my tasty word. This is the cold version of my buckwheat green chili dish that I made when we first got back last week. A weekend, I guess. So it's only been about three days. But I finally got around to having some leftovers, and I'm just super hungry this morning. And so I pulled it out of the fridge. Can't get any easier than just scooping out some, throwing it in a pan, heating it up a bit. And I've added some Napolitos. That's tender cactus. Now, if you're curious about that, that is a Mexican absolute must-have. I love it cold as well as warm. But I use the Goya brand, and Goya is straight from Mexico. And you might be wondering, is it organic? Well, I don't think it's organic, but I don't know of a lot of people who spray cactus. Think about that. This is the flat leaf, spiky cactus that grows everywhere. You see it along the side of the roads, even here in Texas and across the nation. And nobody's spraying that for bugs. So I would say yes. And are you ready for this? Mexico is one of the smartest nations regarding their seed import. They do not allow Monsanto. Yes, you heard that right. They, unlike the United States, have banned Monsanto nasty seeds. So this is pretty cool. Anyway, so I don't know if anybody's spraying cactus, so I'm going to consider this an organic food in my book. But I uh, can't wait to get to this. It's all nice and warm. This can go back in the fridge. Got a few more servings out of there. I got a little generous with mine this morning. But uh, yeah, heat that up. Have it for breakfast. I'm going to make a sweet one next week because my husband doesn't like spicy. But uh, he would really enjoy to have some warm oatmeal in the morning, maybe with some berries. So, all right. Enjoy. Enjoy.